in cosmology and general relativity, in homogeneous cosmology in the most general sense totally in homogeneous universe is modeling the universe as a whole with the spacetime which does not possess any spacetime symmetries. Typically considered cosmological spacetimes have either the maximal symmetry which composes of three translational symmetries and three rotational symmetries homogeneity and isotropy with respect to every point of spacetime, the translational symmetry only homogeneous models, or the rotational symmetry only spherically symmetric models. Models with less symmetries e axisymmetric are also considered as symmetric. However, it is common to call spherically symmetric models or non-homogeneous models as inhomogeneous. In inhomogeneous cosmology the large-scale structure of the universe is modeled by exact solutions of the Einstein field equations i.e. non-perturbatively unlike in the theory of cosmological perturbations which is the study of the universe that takes structure formation galaxies, galaxy clusters, the cosmic web into account, but in a perturbative way, this usually includes the study of structure in the universe by means of exact solutions of Einstein's field equations i.e. metrics or by spatial or spacetime averaging methods. Homogeneity Such models are not homogeneous, but may allow effects which can be interpreted as dark energy, or can lead to cosmological structures such as voids or galaxy clusters. Perturbative approach In contrast, perturbation theory, which deals with small perturbations from e.g. a homogeneous metric, only holds as long as the perturbations are not too large, and n-body simulations use Newtonian gravity which is only a good approximation when speeds are low and gravitational fields are weak. Non-perturbative approach Work towards a non-perturbative approach includes the relativistic Zeldovich approximation. As of 2016, Thomas Butcher, George Ellis, Edward Kolb and their colleagues, judged that if the universe is described by cosmic variables in a backreaction scheme that includes coarse graining and averaging, then the question of whether dark energy is an artifact of the way of using the Einstein equation is an unanswered question. Exact solutions The first historically examples of inhomogeneous though spherically symmetric solutions are the Lemaitre-Talman metric or LTB model, Lemaitre-Talman Bondi. Stephanie metric can be spherically symmetric or totally inhomogeneous. Some other examples are the Schieker's metric, Schaffron metric, Barnes metric, Kustanheimo QVIST metric, and Senevilla metric. The Bianchi metrics as given in Bianchi classification and Kantowski Sachs metrics are homogeneous. <laughs> Averaging methods The best known averaging approach is the scalar averaging approach, leading to the kinematical backreaction and mean three Ricci curvature functionals. The main equations are often referred to as the set of Butchert equations. 